So we now have a PG-13 version of Deadpool 2 with a lot more Fred Savage. So let's talk about it. So if you're unfamiliar with what Once Upon a Deadpool is, essentially it's a re-release of Deadpool 2 with a PG-13 rating, except the movie's re-edited just a little bit to be told in the story format of A Princess Bride. So much so that Fred Savage is in a bed and Deadpool is reading him the book of Deadpool 2, and that's what this movie is. So I'm always naturally curious about things that are just interesting. And a re-release of Deadpool 2 as a PG-13 film with Fred Savage is very interesting to me, but does it work? That's a totally different question, and that's really what this review is. If you want my full take on Deadpool 2, you can check out my review right up here. Actually, my spoiler review as well as my ranking of the X-Men movies. I'll put it all up there so you can get my full take on all of that if that's what you want. This video is specifically about Once Upon a Deadpool and what did I think about it as a film in and of itself. If you've seen it, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Or was this just too weird and choppy or whatever? Let me know what you thought about it. With that said, let's get started talking about the good. And the best thing about this is Fred Savage. Fred Savage is very funny. So I... I haven't watched any of his sitcoms or anything like that. I don't know what he's been up to for a long time. Uh, and I saw the previews for this movie and I was like, Fred Savage looks like he's really funny. He's the standout here. Uh, for the segments, every time he shows up, he is absolutely pulling his weight with Ryan Reynolds. Funny, funny stuff. Some of the best, all the best new laughs are from Fred Savage. That stuff all absolutely worked for me. And I'm not sure if this is surprising or not, but the movie was still really funny, even as a PG-13 film. Now this is a hard PG-13, pretty surprised at some of the stuff they were able to get away with. This is not like Deadpool 2 cut for children or anything like this. This is them pushing it as far as they can and still getting a rating. I mean, there's still rape jokes, pedophilia, there's all kinds of stuff in here that is not kid friendly at all, but can still squeak into that PG-13 and it's still really funny. Now, I haven't watched the R-rated version in many months, so I'm not even sure exactly all of what was cut, but I was still laughing, the jokes still landed, it still worked, and they found a lot of opportunities to kind of play with some of like the buzzing out curse words and things like that that added a new laugh into the mix where it hadn't been there before. And so some of those elements still kind of worked. And as I mentioned in the intro, I just love novelty. I love it when things that are weird just kind of exist. And the idea that now we have three different versions of Deadpool released this year, theatrical cut, the extra extended R-rated version, and now this once upon a Deadpool PG-13 version. I love all of that stuff that different things can exist depending on your flavor, taste, whatever you like. It's out there, you can have fun with it. With that said, let's move on to the mixed on this one. And the big one is that this is Deadpool 2. Um, even though that they changed things up and they added Fred Savage into the mix, they didn't really reshape the story besides maybe the beginning of it. I mean, it really plays out just like the normal film with just little things cut in at different points in time inside the movie. And so take it and leave it. If you thought the original one worked, this one will work for you. And it's just this new PG-13 take on it. And there's a version that they can now play on TV. If the original one didn't work for you, this isn't going to add new things in or fix anything like that. If you're not a fan of Deadpool, it's not like suddenly the humor's fixed or anything. It's still Deadpool 2. Whether that's good or bad, that's why this is mixed. It's Deadpool 2 with Fred Savage randomly thrown in and less F words and baby butts. From there, let's move on to the negative and just in general. Did this work as a standalone film experience? Eh, not really. Um, it's not terrible. It's not like a train wreck. As I said before, if you like the original one, you still get what you want. But um, like the Fred Savage stuff is pretty heavy in the first 30, 40 minutes of the movie. I was like, oh, this is really kind of intercut in and there's some nice commentary. But once the story kicks in and once they go head off to the jail and Cable shows up and everything, Fred Savage almost disappears from the movie. Like there's this, there was like a 30 minute chunk where he didn't show up and I was like, 
I, are we done with that stuff? And then it cuts back one time, literally just to like show his face for 10 seconds. Like, remember, he's still here. And there's another cut into it where it's a little, like a extended one minute little bit in there. But after the first act of the movie, it, he really kind of disappears as if they kind of knew, all right, this is interrupting the story flow. We can't just keep throwing him in here or else there's no, this thing doesn't really work all that well as a story if you keep doing that. And so that was kind of a problem. And just in general, uh, when you take a movie that's so hard R and it like part of the, the excessiveness of the crassness, the R-rated content of Deadpool, that is the humor. And so then when you try and edit that down and the excessive violence and it's like, oh, that head got cut off. Oh, that leg got, and you try and whittle that down it makes the dialogue flow weird at times. There's sequences where it's like, wait, what just what just jumped right there? What just happened? The action sequences start getting ch really choppy at times because they just real quickly show you like, oh, that's about to hit the guy in the head. And then it just cuts away to something else. And so it's just kind of choppy. So, eh, you know, it doesn't work all that well <laughs> as to what they're trying to do. It's very much so like you're watching an edited for TV version of Deadpool with Fred Savage cut into it. Now, if you watch made for T or edited for TV versions and you go, oh wow, this is great editing, this is amazing, then this will be fantastic, spectacular for you. But if you notice kind of the little cuts and things that they're doing, it's kind of distracting as you watch the movie. So what would I score this one? I'm not gonna give it a normal rating or anything like that, but I'll just say a pretty mixed bag. If you're a Deadpool purist, you gotta check it out. It's certainly watchable. The novelty of it is interesting. It's still funny, the action still works, but none of the problems from the original are fixed and there's some new editing issues added into the mix. The Fred Savage is uneven in there, so it's pretty mixed bag as to whatever they were trying to do. It kind of works, kind of doesn't at the same time. Tell me what you thought about it down below. Check out my actual review of the movie over there or that ranking of the X-Men movies right down below it. Thank you guys so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.